Welcome back to Ready Controls. Have you ever needed a one second flasher signal in your automation projects? Maybe this flasher signal is used to turn on a green cycle start push button. Today we're going to show you how to create a precise one second flasher using timers in Studio 5000. We will take a look at close look at how to use the accumulator word to make this happen. Stay tuned to master this essential techniques. Hello and welcome back to Ready Controls channel. If you're passionate about automation and control systems, you have come to the right place. In this follow up video, we will demonstrate how to use how to use the accumulator word to create a one, se one second flash signal. In this video, we're going to talk about two methods. One is using the accumulator word and the second one is using two timers to make a flashing signal. If you haven't seen our previous video on how to use PLC timers on delay of delay return to be sure to check it out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notification and share this video with your colleagues. So without a delay, let's uh, start writing the logic so to begin with we'll go ahead and install or go ahead and um, insert a t on instruction we'll just call it timer one let's go t on create new timer and we'll set the preset to 20 seconds and we'll make this a self timer self starting timer by using the not of the done bit so now we created a self starting timer which keeps timing for 20 seconds now if we monitor the timer instruction it has a accumulator word which you could see is changing in milliseconds if you expand this accumulator value and monitor bit number 10 and let's use a trend here and if you see that I paused it if you see the time between oh, let's turn on the milliseconds so we can see so we go to displays milliseconds apply okay if you look at this one the time between when it when that bit went high is at 37041 to 38071 that's about 1024 seconds that's nothing but 2 to the power of 10 is what that equals to 1024 milliseconds so we can use that bit to create a signal which is on for 1024 milliseconds so let's uh, create that it's timer t on and we can drill down here t on and then go to accumulator and then use bit number 10 and let's create a memory bit called t underscore 1024 millisecond create a new bool create and finalize all edits and then we will use the same 1024 milliseconds temp bit to turn on a green light just to see turn on a light one green we assemble it and now you can see the green light flashing and it's on for 1024 milliseconds so now let's um, edit this rung and create we just control C here control V and we'll use a dot 2l which is 10 to the power of 12 is 
4096 so we just call it 4096 that's about you know, create so now I have a 1024 millisecond timer and 4096 millisecond timer and we can build a We can also build a a 512 second milli timer millisecond flasher by using the dot nine bit. That's about by twelve millisecond. That's new. Depending on your application, you could map all of this before or you could map them um, as you need. But I'll go ahead and use 9, 10 and 12. That will give me a half a second flasher, one second flasher and a five second flasher signal. Okay. Just to see if we change this uh, to a T40 96 millisecond timer we will see the green light now flashing for five seconds as you can see the green light is on here it's on on the screen so that's how you create a flasher signal i'll put it back to the 1024 second so this is one way of using the accumulator bit to make it make a flasher in the subsequent videos we'll talk about how to create an AOI out of this but for a simplistic sake we all we created was a flasher signal for once 1024 milliseconds <clears throat> we use it, used a self timing timer and we used the accumulator dot 10 bit mapped it to a 1024 millisecond and we use that to create a flashing signal that's up to first method some of the if you need a precise one second timer then this is not the way to do but for most practical purpose this helps me create one timer and use to whatever flasher I need now I will show you the second method of using a creating a flasher by using two flash two timers so we will go ahead and insert a T on and we call it a flip timer flip timer and we'll just make it a thousand milliseconds sorry and we'll go ahead and do a a flop timer also create new create and we'll make that one also a thousand milliseconds and we will make this self timing by using flop timer not done to start the flip timer and we will use the flip timer done to start the flop timer we go ahead and assemble it so now what we created is we created a one second flasher and that flasher will be when we use the flop timer you could use either one of them flop timer timer timing and now we will just use that to turn on a red light so we can or a yellow light sorry light under it's got to yellow we create this one okay 
So now as you can see we, we have two timers one is a 1024 millisecond timer the other one one is a 1024 flasher signal the other one is a 1000 millisecond flasher and you can see on the there is about 24 milliseconds of difference but this is a second method right couple of uh, advantages of the second method is it's exact it's precise you can change it to two seconds by changing the presets to two two thousand on both of them or you can create a variable uh, flip-flop timer by just moving a number into that so we will show that here if you want to move a preset value so we just hit uh, take a move instruction and you could either create a variable called uh, flasher time we just make it a dint and we can move that into a flip timer dot preset and we will copy paste that and we will also move that into the flop and now what we created is we created a dynamic way to change the thing and and we just type 2000 now we have a two second time right that's the second method the the second method involves as creating two timers and having a move instruction so it's about three rungs if if you like this way this is perfectly fine if you don't want to create multiple timers and just have one timer this is the method one so that's it uh, for this video we showed you two ways to create a flasher signal the first method was using a self type self starting timer and we use the accumulator word and we used it to create a flash signal the second method is using two timers the flop timer and a flip timer and we use the timer timing bit of the flop timer to turn it on and to make this dynamic we created a move instruction and we moved value into the pre into the preset and as you can see on the screen we have both the green light and the red light coming on with a 24 millisecond delay now it's your turn to create a one second flasher in studio 5000 and observe the accumulator word share your experiences and questions in comments below if you found this video helpful please give it give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues don't forget to subscribe to ready controls and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update thanks for watching